Hi everyone, so I'm here to do a review on the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation and I have this in the shade 091 Light Ivory which I believe is the second palest shade I'm pretty sure and um, I'm very pale as you can see I'm wearing this right now on my face and um, I did set my foundation with some powder earlier, but I didn't use like any kind of makeup setting mist or primer or anything. All I did was set it with a little bit of powder. And um, as you can see, it stayed on pretty well considering it was nice out today. It wasn't cold. It wasn't hot. It was just like a nice kind of warm day out. And so I didn't sweat at all and anything like that. But I really do like this foundation. Um, it says lightweight and shine control. Um, as far as shine control, yeah, the only thing on my face that gets shiny is my nose sometimes, which it is shiny right now. But I was blowing my nose earlier and I did not touch up my nose before doing this review because I thought might as well just not and just let this be how it's going to be in the video. So anyways, um, this is what it looks like. They make these in a variety of different shades. On the back, it says Feather Light Liquid Mousse blends flawlessly for natural looking all day shine control. Silky smooth formula leaves a perfectly matte baby soft finish. Lightweight, lightweight texture won't feel heavy or greasy. Now with this product, um, the first time I tried this, I put on too much and it did feel a little bit heavy and cakey. But that was because I put on too much, I'm pretty sure. Um, but besides that, uh, it was pretty good. The only thing is it's only one ounce and so it is kind of small but um here's what it looks like it's a very creamy thick consistency and so I was nervous it was going to go on and feel cakey and heavy but um if you as long as you blend it out really well it'll be fine but as you see it's very creamy and can be full coverage you can build it up to be full coverage I heard that I think Emily Noel83 said that she compares this to, um, what was it, Estee Lauder Double Wear or something. This particular shade though, the one thing that I don't like about it, I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but it leaves kind of like a pinky finish to pale skin. My skin tone personally does not have kind of pink undertones to it, it's just like white, pale. And so with this kind, when I first applied it, it does kind of give me a bit of a line where my face looks kind of pinky and then my neck is just like white. And so I didn't like that about it. But um, the thing that I did like is that um, when I use this, I didn't have to put concealer unless I had like a really big zit or anything. And um, I could just put some right underneath my eyes and it would cover any darkness or veins or anything. So I like that. Also with this particular product, I don't feel like you have to set it with powder. That's just something I always like to do is just set my face with powder. I feel like with this particular product, you don't have to unless you would like to. But um, yeah. Uh, one thing I do have to say though is that I have very dry skin. The only part that's oily is my nose. And so, um, this has shine control in it, but I don't have shine. And so, I felt like it made my skin a bit more dry than it usually is because it was trying to fight shine that kind of wasn't there. And so, I felt like this was a little bit drying to my skin type. Um, so I would recommend, I would still recommend if you have dry skin, definitely try this. I would just say use a nice, uh moisturizer on your skin before you apply this but other than that I think that this is a really great product really full coverage if you're looking for a good foundation that'll last you like a month or two or three or whatever um, I feel like this would be a really great product and I definitely recommend it and out of five stars I'd probably give it five stars because it is one of the best full coverage drugstore foundations that I've personally tried so thank you for watching guys